Wow, guys, that is not clickbait. I just came across a 10 foot living and breathing snake inside Walmart. Check this out. Wow, y'all, so talk about a unique video this time. Uh, I'm sure a lot of y'all are new to the channel, so welcome. My name's Travis. I'm a reseller based out of the Houston, NASA area. And yeah, today we got an unusual one because it's not every day that you come across a 10-foot snake in a Walmart while you're shopping. And that's exactly what happened. You'll see the footage later on in this video. And for those that don't know, I am um, like a reseller that goes to estate sales, garage sales, uh, thrift stores, auction houses. I network with friends and family, whatever it can be, to find items to sell uh, for profit online. I currently use eBay as my major platform, and then locally I will sell through Facebook Marketplace or OfferUp. And uh, it's a fun ride. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. You'll see some items that you probably don't know that are worth some money that you can sell out of your garage. You already have them, or you'll find out and about while you're searching. So um, yeah, enjoy the video and uh, comment. I'd be curious to see what y'all have to think about if y'all came across a snake like I did at, while shopping and what y'all would do, how you'd react. Hey guys, what is going on? I'm doing a Walmart run for some, what, some groceries and some random uh, like shipping supplies that I need that I can't wait on for. So I figured while I'm here, I'm gonna try to run behind and do some dumpster diving to see if there's anything there. I see some videos. Let's see what I can't find. So it's a random video that I don't usually do, but I'm gonna go behind a Petco, a Marshalls, and an Ulta Beauty. And I'm filming just in case I find something. If not, I'll obviously just So here's the first one. That's the Petco. Let's see what Petco has. All right, so I didn't find anything like hard goods resale wise, but I did find a full box of bubble wrap and like foam padding that I can use to protect my shipments. So that's good, that's not cheap. It looks like, it's kind of like a newer location. It seems like they have like these automated whatever dumpsters. So that's kind of hurting the process for me, I think. Um, that one's empty. Here's another one of those automated things. I guess they filter it down and then it just keeps pushing it back so they don't have to worry about messing around with anything out in the weather. Um, there's one behind a gate. Is there anything back there? Looks like there is. What do y'all think? If I get yelled at, I might get in trouble. But if y'all know me well enough, I can just say, hey, I'm looking for boxes. What, what are they gonna do? They're gonna yell at me and say leave? That's the worst they can do, right? Well, that was kind of a bust. I found some packing materials, which was always good, but didn't find anything else that was worthy of reselling. A um, bunch of boxes, if I needed any boxes, but I'm kind of jam packed right now with Amazon boxes and everything else that I can use, so I don't really need any. Plus I got a full storage unit of uh, stacked new boxes that I got from that Steinmark closeout that y'all saw in a previous video. So I'm going to Walmart, maybe I'll find some retail arbitrage in the clearance section. So a lot of y'all don't know this, but my very first job ever was working at a Kroger grocery store and I started off being the bagger and grocery cart person that would collect all the carts and everything so having done that before I was finding a way to bring a cart from the parking lot back in that way uh, kind of helping out the guys that have to do it now at Walmart or wherever grocery store so now I'm at my neighborhood Walmart, which is in Kima, Texas, kind of in the Clear Lake area. Going to get some like packing paper, like some regular brown craft paper. Uh, it saves me money when I can just wrap it around a box that um, I'm shipping that has like marketing or any type of advertising on the box. 
and um, saves on the size instead of putting a box in a box. Plus you can use it for packing and stuffing stuff too. Let's see if I can find it. For the love of God, follow the links people on Justin or Lonnie on the bubble because no way in heck you should pay $17 for bubble. That's insane. Well, I found a couple things. Some G.I. Joe, they're like stickers, I guess. They're asking a dollar each and they comp around eight to ten dollars. I'll show a comp on the screen. There was some uh, other stickers from Frozen, but there were two left and this lady came by with two young daughters and of course I couldn't just take those. <laughs> watch them put it in the cart and then um, sell them when they were actually eyeing them. I saw them doing that. So I gave those Elsa stickers to the family with the young daughters. Let's keep searching. All right, so I found the G.I. Joe stickers and that's about it for this section. But when y'all go to Walmart and y'all are looking for retail arbitrage, don't just look at the clearance section here. Go to the electronics section because they like to keep an eye on their stuff there uh, for security reasons and they also typically do have some pretty good deals on blowouts for like games or uh, like Funkos or anything like that. So I will breeze by there and see if uh, that's the case at this one. Uh, so wish me luck. And I'm in the electronics section but here's another interesting fact for you guys. I don't know if y'all are fans of Star Trek or maybe X-Men but the actor's name is Patrick Stewart. You'll probably know who he is. He played Captain Kirk on the series on Star Trek, and then he was the brainiac that was in the wheelchair for X-Men. But I actually was um, in a movie when I lived out in California that starred him, and um, in the credits and everything, built my IMDb. All right, y'all, so here's a good example of how people can get kind of screwed over and lose their faith in retail arbitrage. A LeBron James from the Space Jam movie that's coming out, they have a toy here for $14 and change, and the comps are selling on eBay. There's only one comp, and it's sold for like $39, $34, or something like that. I'll show that on the screen right now, but... So here you go. Like there's one, two available, and then three, I think that's it. So they have three of those available. And you would think, okay, well you buy it at, at the price is $14.88, and you can sell it for 34. You can make 20 bucks, right? Or 15, 17 after fees. But what people don't realize is they just look at the solds, but now you gotta look at what your competition's doing and I will show the comps on what it is now on the active listings. Yeah, see what I'm talking about? So $25 with free shipping, what kind of meat on the bone is there? I mean, after taxes, $14.99, so you're in it for like, what, $16, and you sell it for $25 with free shipping? So what do you really make? Uh, like two or three dollars after fees and your shipping and everything else? That's how people can lose a lot of faith and a lot of money doing retail arbitrage because it's simply not worth it. You gotta store it, you gotta pay the taxes, you gotta wait for it to sell. It's taking up space and the return on investment is simply not there. I think in my math, if I'm gonna spend 14, 15 dollars on something, I want it to sell for at least 40 or 50 dollars because after fees and everything else you're doubling your money at least i ah, wanted to show you guys that because i am done with this location i found out another thing for you card collectors out there that the walmarts are having a big issue with like the pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh cards because what's happening is these people are coming in and they happen to know when like when the shipments are coming in and arriving off the truck but they're pretending to be like a rep that works for some sort of distributor or whatever. And they're loading up their carts and then they're just like going out a side door or something and they're ripping off the Walmarts 
and causing a huge problem. And it's happened here at this chemo location where I'm at. I was talking to the two guys there in the electronics section and they told me like, hey, because of that, like they've stopped uh, caring. Look at this. Can I get that on video? I don't care. This guy just came in. Holy crap. Oh, he's hissing at me too. No, he's just breathing there, retick. That's beautiful. Oh my gosh, let me flip it around. All right, so Bolo items in Walmart chemo. That is, a, how long is it? He's about 10 foot. A 10 foot long, and what kind of snake is it? Uh, he's a tiger retic. A tiger? Reticulated python. Reticulated python. Look at this guy. You never know what you're gonna see in Walmart. They uh -uh. say that. <laughs> wow. So is that your service animal? Yeah, he's my service animal. <laughs> nice. More like getting the smiles off of people's face when they react to him. Very I've had cool. people ask me if he's fake. He's not fake. Do you ever allow people to touch him? Yeah, y'all can touch him, I don't care. All right, so for my viewers, I am gonna touch the snake. So y'all think that I would be scared or something? There you go, guys. Very cool, thanks for letting me touch him. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, so I'm at Home Depot now, and for those of y'all that need to have a cheap alternative to packing and shipping, go to the paint section, and the rolls are usually, where are they, down here, I think? I might be on the wrong aisle. I'm looking for the craft, craft paper rolls. Wait, here we go. Um, usually there's smaller rolls in this, though. I'm looking for these, but on a smaller scale. So yeah, here it is, guys. 35 inches, so three foot by 140 foot long for $11. And then I usually will get my military 10% off. So about 10 bucks all in, and that'll last a long time. So keep that in mind. If y'all ever need like packing paper or um, to wrap like a box that has advertisements so you can save on the, um, the size of the shipment. And um, obviously the weight, because you're not having put a box in a box. Well, y'all, this day just keeps, it's like a weird day. I just got like an 18 pack of eggs. I'm at Kroger doing some shopping. I'm making some spaghetti tonight. And look at these eggs. Do you notice anything that's weird? Yeah, look at this freaking egg. Have you ever seen an egg like that before? Man, I don't know. I'm gonna buy it and I'm gonna put it on video, see what it looks like inside. Well, y'all, if y'all made it this far, I wanted to say thanks again for watching, supporting the channel. Uh, hit the thumbs up button. It really helps out with the logarithms or whatever that YouTube has. Algorithms, whatever the terminology is. Uh, and then subscribe if you haven't already. That way you can see future videos and tricks to look out for at sales, bolo items, uh, negotiations, whatever it might be. Have fun and take care. Till next one, peace.